Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. It's Jim Brewer. Yeah. What's up, Mike? What's happening, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? We're doing good. So today, I just want everyone to know, we, later in the show, we have this guy um, with this certain water that not only purifies, it's got your alkaline. They're going to help um, the people of East Palestine. They have been helping. It's It looks... I don't know. Listen, I, I don't know what's legit. All I know is I'm going to order it and then we, and I'll let, I'll let him explain it all, but he's, um, you can check it out while we've been talking. It's century with an S century H two O century water century H two O. And, um, we'll get to him later in the show. Yo, where are you? Dude, I want to, dude, I mean, I wanted everyone to see where all the merch, all the people that meet out on the road, they're always they're like, where do you ship everything from? So I thought it would be cool to show you guys Universe Verge headquarters right here. This is our top four right here. Someone had to say it. The Mets, Brewer, and then uh, we go for the Eagle. That's kind of my favorite right there. And then, you, of course, the Brew Crew just came in. And then we still, I just ordered for uh, for the shows that we're going to be doing starting this month. I got the new hoodies for us. I got this gray hoodie is the popular one. This is where I ship it from right here. What's up? nice and i want to let everyone know too remind everyone too or i mean i can just the patreon everyone gets a discount when they order the merch just go to jimbrewer.com and um and i'm good at shipping it out and that's why i'm glad to be working with you the best part is is that i'm stoked that you had me on today because when i meet people you know out of the shows they're like man they're wearing the shirt and it just trips me out that like the shirt you they sent it to wearing him. comes from my garage. I love that. Because they is. think it's from they think it's from some like, you know, super corporate thing. And I'm like, no way, dude. This is punk rock. Like we're just shipping things out of here. Thanks to everyone that buys the merch. Appreciate it. Late. Yep. Thank God I have Joe Siv around. This was so cool. I did a um so I had my Patreon members, they we do a Zoom once a month with like certain tier, right? And we literally, I mean, we're talking people from Oregon, Oregon, the state of Washington, um, from Oregon, from Georgia, Florida, Arizona, um, Pitts, uh, Pittsburgh, from all over the country, flew in to meet each other in Tampa. And they had a big barbecue and a couple acres just, just because they became friends online from joining the Patreon page. And me and Joe Sib, and then we did a show, and I started filming these shows and um, trying out all this material. And we went and we went and hung out. It was such a cool vibe. I'm going to have the video for that pretty soon. It was such a – we tried to get wiffle ball going, but then – then we kind of ran out of time but yeah we were there a couple hours and i probably could have stayed there all day all night it made me want to create a little like weekend thing uh where it's like patreon bruniverse members and we do a um i don't know it made me want to do a cruise a brew cruise it made me it wanted me it definitely got my wheels turning it was such a cool vibe i can't even explain it I was I was really blown away that at the end of the day they're fans that got together and did this. So yeah, it's, it's been a really good week. I've been doing all I've been trying out material all week, and then I'll be still trying out some stuff. And some of the stuff's good. Some of the stuff needs a little more work. But um, did you see Woody Harrelson's monologue? <laughs> It's everywhere, man. I can't get away from how it. How can you? How can you not <laughs> see Woody Harrelson's monologue? Now, uh. my here's what cracked me up about it. Um, well, I thought he could have delivered better. I'm a huge, huge, huge 
Woody Harrelson fan. Always has been. I've always been a Woody Harrelson fan. So that's, I mean, since I was a kid, I mean, going all the way back to Cheers, I love Woody Harrelson. I don't know what he's promoting. I just know someone sent me the monologue. And as I was watching the monologue, I was like, huh? He basically said what millions upon millions upon millions of people already know and already think about. And what this did was expose so much. It exposed more and more how many people think that way. And it also exposed the patheticness, how pathetic the so-called media is. What is media? What is media? You want to explain to me what media is? What is news? You know, it's called professional propaganda liars. And we're learning it more and more and more and more. Because Woody Harrelson, let me tell you how, let me show you how exactly they they make you think and they and you don't think you you go oh, no not me i think for myself no you don't i had this argument with someone it really pissed me off like we've really got into it but they put the words in there let's let's look at the clown show that we call rolling stone the clown show that they that they name themselves the huffington post the the clown you're no different than the inquirer Rolling Stone, you are now the National Choir. Uh, mass media, National Choir. Remember, I used to look at the National Choir and think they were a joke. Well, guess what? The Huffington Post, you're a joke. You're nothing. You're zero. You are the National Choir. You got nothing. If you work for that organization, you should really think of going other places because they don't have any respect. And the only people they have respect from are people that do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that is that is it. I read the Huffington Post. <laughs> that that's what comes out of your mouth after you read it. Variety. <laughs> Variety, you're a joke. You played yourself. When you say things like Woody Howelson rambles. First of all, just just show what he said. Why you got to come out of the game? He rambles about weed and anti-vax conspiracy. Well, you just played yourself, you dopes. He never once mentioned conspiracy. He never once said anti-vax. He basically said what I've been saying and millions others have said. They're drug lords. And the only difference is... And I, I'll be blatantly honest with you. I saw the change over the years. And I know people in, in, in industries that if you look at time, I, I've been saying this from day one. What the drug lords did. Oh, it's the war against drugs. We're America. We're going to fight the war on drugs. But then you saw how much money and power and control drugs can have. And what you did was create programs and colleges and universities and you trained the drug lords. And then the drug lords went to other countries to give them, quote, democracy, which is a nice word for taking your place over, murdering, killing, all in the name of democracy. And by the way, there's a new system here. Your old system didn't work. It was working fine till you showed up. The drug lords and the many others. They advertise on television, brought to you by, brought to you by, all drug lords. So when Woody Harrelson comes out and says, and I don't know where you've been if you haven't seen this. 
Listen to this closely. It's hilarious. Now, does he deliver it well? I got to be honest with you. I think Woody Harrelson is one of the greatest actors. I love him. He could do comedy. He could be serious. I, I, I can't say enough about Woody Harrelson. I think he's one of the greatest actors of our time. I'm being dead serious. Dead serious. I've seen him in comedies. I've seen him as, as goofball. And I've seen him as, you know, that detective series. Um, one of my, I love Woody Harrelson. I don't know. It's enough to say, but the old, my only disappointment was I thought he could have knocked it out of the park a little harder. I wish I, I wish I was like, Woody, you gotta, I would have acted it out more, but that's, that's just me. And I'm a little confused at who wrote this, who wrote this monologue? And how they approved the monologue. I, I find that interesting. And here's what's even more interesting. Big Bad New York City, which I love, and I was part of this show, whatever. They're really quiet for one of two reasons. Um, one, it's too real. Or two, <laughs> they're just too, too <laughs> not to realize what he's saying right to your face. Listen to this monologue. Mwah. Brilliant. So the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people <laughs> can only come out if they take the cartels' drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? <laughs> that uncomfortable okay. Way. So he's talking about a movie and a script. And he goes, again, the script's the dumbest script in the world. And I've said this on stage, that nobody would buy this. Like, okay, we got to. Like, if you if you pitch the idea of like, yeah, that everyone has to stay inside. The only way they come out is they get a, you know, they get a jab and then they have to show a card that they got and then we'll put a chip in them and then we'll have to like, oh, oh my gosh, too much, too much. It's, it's just too much. Well, guess what? It happened. It's still happening. You get these, I, you know what? And again, I loved George. I, I thought George Clooney, I liked some of his movies. The clown, I feel bad for George Clooney. I feel bad for Sean Penn. Sean Penn, George Clooney, Gene Simmons. I feel terrible for them. Uh, your, your Kimmels. It's sad that they need more money that they'll sell something they know absolutely nothing about, zero about. When just a year or two years ago, you'd have your Keith Obermans of the world, another poor, pathetic, sad individual who knows nothing but to collect his paycheck and read the screen in front of him so he can get his little uh, seat in his favorite restaurant because he's the guy in television that wears makeup. They all push still the drug lords. And they're paid. You can't tell me they're not paid. How sad. How sad that their enslavement, their enslavement, Sean Penn's enslavement. How sad the enslavement of George Clooney, where he says we all, it should be a necessity that we all get the jab. You're a joke, man. It's sad. We all look at you and like, you're a goof now. You're a goof. Sean Penn, you're a goof. Great actor, but you're a goof. Now, a year or two ago, I go out and I say, I don't want it. Are you a scientist? Are you a doctor? Oh, but if you say go get it, you're a genius. There's no questions asked when you get these bananas from what? Let me explain to you. If you look at Sean Penn's career, these guys, they're not, they don't work hard. Everything's given to them. Sean Penn's been a star since before most of you even born. He was, he was, he married Madonna. They were right out of the gate superstardom in the 80s. 
So that puts them in a class. And to stay in that class, you got to be, you got to juggle a certain way. It's really that simple. It's that simple. And these bananas are out. George Clooney, I saw a clip of George Clooney. I think it's, you know, it should be mandatory. Well, George, I think it's mandatory that you shut your face. I think it's mandatory that you should keep your mouth shut. I think it's mandatory that you don't tell us what you think. You know, people say, oh, you, you, you should do uh, you know, washed off to a you know, to go boy, blah, blah, blah. I feel the same towards you bananas or anyone that, that, that says anything. How about you? How about you look in the mirror? What makes you better than anyone else? Nothing. So this is, it's a bunch of bananas, bunch of bananas. George Clooney, banana. Sean Penn, you're a banana. You're a banana. I don't know what to do with you. Gene Simmons, you're first class banana. You're an enemy of mine if you don't take the... What, what is more mind boggling? You can watch all the videos right now. You can watch Damar Hamlin question what, what happened? What happened to you? And he won't answer. He won't answer. You can watch people dying. There's a Met, a New York Mets ball, 31 years old. This, this young man's poor family, he just dropped dead of a heart attack. He was an ex-Met, dead of a heart attack. Um, enlarged hearts do exist. Blood clots and livers do exist. I know it for a fact. So you cannot say anything to me because if you try to put a warning on me, I will show it to you and I will sue you and I will bring the people on. They are a fact. I have them in my life. But nobody, you, the people that believe, the Woody, ha the, 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 the George Clooney clowns, the Sean Penn clowns and all the other clowns that push that aren't scientists, that aren't doctors. They just need to get their reservation in their restaurant and to look great on camera. The, the clown world, the Huffington Post clowns, variety clowns, Keith Oberman clown. Rolling Stone. I never thought Rolling Stone would be so clown worthy. The variety, the daily beast, the daily jokes, the daily clown. <laughs> All the daily clowns are going to not look at what's going on, which makes me think of one of two things. You're either really blind. Or you're part of this sadistic evil agenda. And if you are, we should know who publishes these things. Who, who publishes the Huffington Post? Who publishes Rolling Stone magazine? Which they all have the same headlines, which is show you they're not original. Variety, the Daily Beast, when they all say Rolling Stone, uh, uh, says Woody Harrelson with his anti-vax conspiracy. You just told your clown followers what to think and believe. So Woody Harrelson did an anti-vax conspiracy. Who, is that what you got out of it? Is that, and let's say he did. Why does that scare you? Does it scare you to question it? Because there's a lot of people still scared to question it. I love Woody Harrelson. I love this SNL monologue. And I love the clowns losing their minds. We are now, we have now reached a part of society that if the media hates it, we now know we're onto something really good. That's where we're at. If the media says, oh, uh, Woody Harrelson uh, rambles about weed and anti-vax conspiracy. Oh, guess what? Thank God. Thank you. 
um, conspiracy, conspiracy. They all use the word conspiracy. They're all clowns. Variety, Rolling Stone, dead. You're dead. Huffington Post, you're dead. You're, you're, you're totally not legit anymore. You can never be taken seriously ever again about anything you write. At least in this house, I'll tell you that right now. George Clooney, you, you, I, can't, I can't even look at you anymore. I can't look at Sean Penn. I can't look at any of these people anymore. Gene Simmons, I can't look at him. I had someone come up to me at a show with a Kiss shirt on. And I said, uh, he said, will you sign it? I said, I'll never sign anything with Gene Simmons on. He's a joke. He's, he's pathetic. Anyone that loves money that much, that he's, he's willing to sell his soul and just say, blurt out whatever dumb non thing he knows is, I, I, I can't take these people seriously. Now, granted, I'm no genius. I'm dumb as a rock, but I can see what's going on. I think I see what's going on. Um, it's funny, too, because uh, Penske Media Corporation own both Rolling Stone and Variety, along with other subsidiaries. <laughs> well, there you go. Penske Media. Who's Penske? Yeah. Who owns Penske? Are you able to look at that, Mike? Uh, like let's look let's look this up one so that's what i'm saying and all the all the headlines were the same so you think you're like oh well i only read huffington post because they're legitimate no they're not dummy i only read a uh, rolling stone no they're not it all comes from one source j penske j penske with a p yes he founded it in 2003 and yeah, they 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 own both Variety and Rolling Stone, and then BuzzFeed, a credible news source. They are credible. Owns Huff, yeah, owns Huffington Post. There you go. This is the people that we have to start looking at. Who's behind everything? These are the ones we have to get. Boom. Who are you to say such nonsense and put words like out there like anti-vax conspiracy? People that say, are you anti-vax? I really, I can't know. I have zero respect for you. Zero. No offense, but I have zero respect for you. Who are you to roll up on anyone with such a ridiculous stamp? And then they'll say, oh, what about in 1920 with the polio? Have you ever looked into all that? You ever really look into the Rockefeller Foundation? And say who who started controlling things way back then and what experiments were done on humanity. You ever look into that? No, you haven't. So until you do, keep your mouth quiet and then come back and you give us your details of what kind of homework you've done. And until you've done that homework, keep quiet and get out of the way. Get out. Of, we, we, we ain't got time for you. We have zero time for you. Bunch of bananas. Bunch of bananas. Good for Woody Harrelson. What is he coming out with? Is he like in a movie or something? Uh, I don't know. He must. I mean, why else would he be on Sunday Live? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. You know, I, t- I started talking about it on stage. <clears throat> We've reached a point in society where we don't believe anything. They can't, They tried with Chinese spy balloons. Did anyone believe it was a Chinese spy balloon? Did anyone out there go, oh, my God, the Chinese... And it started in Montana and just kept floating. It took two days before, like, oh, well, maybe we should shoot it down. What is going on? And then UFOs. We shot down UFOs. <laughs> well, it's funny, too, about the whole China thing, because I've been talking to Shaka about this just real quick. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but we just got access to four military bases in the Philippines, because apparently Beijing is moving on Taiwan for some reason. And then, you know, the news came out about the Chinese spy balloon. And and now there's news coming out that the, you know, it most likely was a lab leak for the so-called thing. But it's right now everything is being directed towards China and Russia. China and Russia are the bad guys right now. What's the narrative? What's going on? Why do we have to hate these guys so much? What are we we not being told? What do we not? And here's what I want to know. And I got to be honest with you, here's something that's just really starting to bother me. If you got a Ukraine flag out in in your yard, you say, I support Ukraine. I I really, I I just can't take you seriously. Unless you're from Ukraine, 
I, I just, I, I can't. I just, I, I just can't. I can't. What, what do you support? What exactly do you support? <laughs> because Russia invaded. Did you know Mitt Romney? Did you know Nancy Pelosi? Did you know Joe Biden? And there's one other. There's one other. I forgot who the other one was. Another one in office. All their sons are on boards in Ukraine. You don't think that's weird? You don't think that's weird? You no, just that's think normal. that's normal? It's normal, right? Yeah, no, nothing to see here. None to see here. But you know what? Keep your flag out there. Keep supporting them. Ukraine needs your billions. Ukraine needs your money. We don't want money in Ohio. Send it to Ukraine. We don't need to build up our cities. Send it to Ukraine. We don't need to build up Fort Myers, Florida, which is which is pretty much done for years, five to ten years. I'm going to show you videos of Fort Myers. Something happened six months ago, and they're still, it's like atom bombs went off. Is there any help in Florida? Zero. But let's go to Ukraine. Now the guy in Ukraine is talking about how Americans should come over there and fight with soldiers. I tell you what, I don't think any American is sending anyone. And if you do, listen, if you got a Ukraine flag, send your kid over. Say, go ahead, send your kid over. Knock yourself out. Because I tell you what, my kids, they ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. Zero. Nobody's going anywhere. It's time. I think people are waking. I don't know, man. It's all nuts. So I can't wait to jump into this on stage, boy. I got to find the comedy angle, though. I got Because you can't come off angry. You got to. And I have been. I have been doing it. I've been working out all week. I worked out in Tampa. I worked out in um, you know, um, Off the Hook Comedy Club. I'm going back there in June to work stuff out. And it, it's everyone feels the same way. And that's here's here's what people need to understand. A at least eighty percent of you feel the same way. So the big the loud twenty percent, they're nobody. They're nobody. They don't and that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Let them think whatever they watch. If they're still connected to the media and they're still connected to the Huffington Post and they're still connected to a uh the eight, you know, the the eight people watching Keith Oberman, if they're still connected to your the, the the CNNs and the Rolling Stones and their local paper. It's okay. That's all they know. It's like lab rat. It's like a rat. You took the cage off the rat and he doesn't know where to go and he just knows, okay, stay here and go on the wheel. And that's all right. You got to love them. We have to love them. All right. So here's a, here's something that's a positive thing, hopefully, and turns into something. I'm just curious about this. So I want to learn about it more. But there's a thing called Century H2O. Century H2O. Now, you need to understand something. I've never talked with this person. I know nothing about the product. And I'm not endorsed. I'm not endorsed by anything. So you need to know that when I do the Bruno. I will tell you when I'm getting paid. I will tell you. So, so you need to know that. There's not like, I'm not the news. I'm not brought to you by Pfizer. So... I'm just going to, this is backyard conversation. So this is kind of cool for East, East Palestine, Ohio, a way to start cleaning the water. And I believe it's family run. And God, I, I know this is crazy, but I hope if this is true, that this is capable of cleaning so much water, even our own household water, this century H2O, if it's true that these people are well protected. That's all I'm going to say. I hope they're well protected because they're going to be really needed soon. But let me let me tap into this more. This guy was brought through, um, you know, Instagram and all that. I'm like, yeah, let's let's talk about. It. Let's talk to Nelson McKillian. Did I say that right, Nelson? McKillian. Close enough. Mechel what? McKillian. 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 McElveen. Yes. I'm a, I'm a jackass, man. I'm a jackass. <laughs> Hey, McElveen. you're not the first, so it's all good. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm t 
you know, living the dream. I'm in Naples, Florida. I'm oh. doing whatever, just trying to. It doesn't suck here. It doesn't suck here. It's yeah, it's it it's eighty degrees, clear every day. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't get. Now, granted, we need more younger people, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, no offense to anyone older than me. We're in Arizona, and it's, we have the same kind of weather. Yeah, you know, you get a little chillier though during the winter sometimes. A little it chillier. does. We get a little warmer in the summer too, though. Yes, so. you get you get. <laughs> oh, but it's a dry heat. Yeah, yeah, don't kid yourself. At 120 degrees, it ain't that dry, is it? Oh, trust <laughs> me, I've been there, done that. You know, four or five <laughs> yeah. showers a day, dry heat. Yep. I still got swamp butt. Um, so Nelson, tell me, tell me, tell me about now. This is your part of this company, the Century H2O. And you guys are doing a cleanup thing. Is it with the residents? Like, did, did, I'll let you you explain exactly okay. what's going on. Because I have zero. And you have to dumb this down for me. Don't use words. that I'm going to stop you if you use words that I have no clue what you're talking about. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, what we do is um, I have a couple companies. And one company is a plastic injection molding company. Okay. And we do things like um make smoke detector covers and the material we the material we use is polyvinyl chloride okay oh okay yep, the yep, reason yep. we use yeah we the reason we use this material is because it doesn't burn okay you see you see the fires right oh my god they were horrifying yes right and in my I, I think there's there were multiple after Ohio, like after Ohio, Ohio yeah. got the big news. Yeah. But then all of a sudden there were all these explosions yes. everywhere else that they just kind of like, yeah, Happened. ignore that thing in Florida, Texas, South Carolina. And blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Okay. Watch what the left hand's doing because the right hand's doing something worse. Always. Always. So, yeah. Polyvinyl chloride doesn't burn, and I've seen them burn, and, and uh, we make covers for smoke detectors because it doesn't burn, all right? And we started right. that We started that back in the 90s, and uh, when I run that material in my factory, once it gives off a gas, it can kill you in moments hmm. because it's, it is a uh, mustard gas. They outlawed oh. that in World War One. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so when they did a controlled burn – something very strange happened there okay so um we build a product I, I i ventured from the injection molding business i started another company called century h2o and it's a little it's a it's what we do is we build water filtration i've been in that business for about 18 years working with the big three people making all the parts for them the ro systems all these great things that don't work and uh we connected with a company out of europe and the company is um, 21st century kind of products. Everything's done with minerals, no chemicals, all safe. If you come to the Sun Stadium here in Phoenix, I have 87 of these systems in the Sun Stadium cleaning the water from everywhere from ice cubes to steamers to drinking fountains. Okay? Oh, wow. Okay. All natural. See, when you go to a venue and you get a glass of uh, a drink with ice in it, yeah. It has it has phosphates in the ice. That's how right. they keep it scale. We do ours with oxygen. Everything's done with oxygen bubbles, okay? So this little system, we, we built house systems, and they're very expensive, and they're hard to ship around the country. So we came up with this kit that you put underneath your sink. takes 15 minutes to install. You live in an apartment. You can take it when you leave. You don't leave any kind of marks or, you know, you don't destroy anything, putting a big, you know, a spigot on your, on your sink. This plugs right into the cold side of your water and uh, it takes about 15 minutes to put it in 15 minutes to take it out nice and easy but um what we did is we have a system it's a five-stage system in two housings okay and how i uh so what we ended up coming up with was a product you're gonna love this so we'll start at the beginning it takes out all the mud there's a lot of mud in your water because every time they break the sewer line they put mud in the water right it takes that out of your water takes out chlorine and ammonia we use catalytic carbon or activated carbon and it removes the catalytic and it removes the chlorine and the ammonia on the water and then we have a special delivery system inside that filter that puts eighty-six thousand parts per million of oxygen into your water okay so 
That grabs the scale, breaks it into a powder form. It's done. Now you can body can take it in and it won't create stones. Okay. Cause I came out here, I end up getting stones. So from there, we take out the fluoride, the lead, arsenic, chromium six. We take that out. We pull out 11 different elements of, of different kinds of, uh, of uh, toxins, boron, and these kind of things, right? Right. Then we add in calcium and magnesium and oxygen into the drinking water at a high level, okay? We soften the water on top of all that. Now, that's just that part of it, okay? And Oh, by the way, we also increase the pH level by two points. So Okay. Now, here's the cool part. All so, right. by adding oxygen, it, the oxygen we add, you can see in the water. And the pH... That destroys cancer. It happened to me. I had my PAS levels jumped up from 1.6 to 3.99. That's cancer. I started, I went to a specialist. They did all the stuff. They wanted to do a biopsy. And I said, I don't think so. So I, at the same time, I bought a new home, built this system, put it in my house. Four months later, I went back and had blood tests done. And I was down at 1.6. Do were you diagnosed with cancer at all? Like they said, they, um, they said you're at that point. I had a growth. I did the ultrasound. I had the growth. Okay. Where'd you have it? Uh, your prostate. Okay. So you had prostate cancer because okay. I'm starting to see that stuff online now too, where it's alkaline. Is that yeah, sense? Like, you hit so it right in the head. There's, there's a certain alkaline. If people yeah, yeah. have a certain alkaline, it just kills cancer. Yes. It's that simple. Cancer yes. can't live in your body with a certain alkaline. Right. Now, can you patent this thing? Is this why no. this is never heard no. of? No. Nope. That's why this is never heard of, of course, because you can't patent alkaline. So, so okay, go okay. ahead. Okay, hold on. Here's what gets really cool. So you go out and you buy water at the water store. They throw right. electricity into it. They take it up to 11.5, and in seven days, it's back down to where it was. Our product puts minerals in the water. That's how you, that's how you truly create alkaline water. Goes to 9.0 or 8.5, and it stays there forever. Eight months down the road, I'm still testing the same water. It's still in there. Okay? So what it does is when you put alkaline in the water, it kills the acid in your body, which creates cancer. When you put mm. oxygen into your bowels, not through your, not through your lungs, that destroys cancer. Okay. So like us guys, right? Yeah. I don't know about yourself, but I used to get up five times a night and go to the bathroom. Right. I drink this water at 11 o'clock at night, go to bed at 1105, wake up nine hours later, don't go to the bathroom anymore. Bro, I will take you up on this big time. If I can, hey. if, if I can, you no, know, this is something I can use in my house. Oh yeah. Yeah. It takes you 15 minutes to put it in. You're done. Put it in a camper. Put it anywhere you want to go, right? You plug it right in, okay? You won't go to the washroom. Oh, by the way, here's the cool part. Here, now, I hope you folks don't mind this one. But yeah. when you go to the bathroom, you will leave oxygen bubbles in the toilet. What? So when, I, when I'm they going to the bathroom, okay. Because okay. what happens is your body takes in all the oxygen, uses it in your bowels, and then passes through it does it use. I will totally. T I'm going to test this out. I'm not going. Now this is ex it's expensive, right? Or no? How much? Like if I want, I, I want to buy this, right? Two hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, okay. To me, that's a, that's a life. No, no, if I can we, avoid cancer. Yeah, we squeeze this package down as tight as possible. I haven't even told you the best part yet. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, um, we have a problem in this world where ninety-two percent of all pharmaceuticals are sold in the United States. Whatever goes into the toilet goes into the drinking water. Mm. Okay. So everything goes into these underground, after they treat it, they dump it in underground uh, aquifers and they clean it for 10 years. Unfortunately, uh, Arizona, California, and Texas are going to aggregate water for drinking water. That means they shrink the timeline down. Okay. So what we do now is, so you do that. Let's say you've been vaccinated with any kind of vaccines. Okay. That goes into the drinking water. The waste, the water plants don't even test for pharmaceuticals. Let's say the lady down the street had took the abortion pill. That right. goes into that goes into the drinking water. The fetus. We clean 
all of that out. We clean wow, out, we clean idea. out PO feet, POZs, POVs, and POIs. We take all that out of the water. Okay. POVs is what's going on with East Palestine. And how do you take product out? How do you take product out of the water with carbon? So the average carbon, so all these folks, they want to help out. You get a RO system. It has regular carbon in it. Okay. Regular yeah. carbon is at 900 grains per unit. Okay. Yeah. We had 2,800 grains per unit. The product that I'm talking about was just developed, was developed two years ago and was released from my chemist September of last year. And you want to hear something really interesting. What's this, that? My chemist is out of Germany. And we do a lot of work. We do a lot of work with the elites over in Europe. And this okay. product, was, this product was made for the fish farms over in Europe, so that they wouldn't get any pharmaceutical VOCs in them. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm talking to my chemist, and I'm telling him, "Will this take out polyvinyl chloride?" He goes, "Oh yeah, we developed it for that two years ago. We started the development because we thought that the." piping the plastic piping in america would start leaching out via chloride amazing huh wow so these guys so we have just one yeah go, go ahead. ahead no we had one of the solutions for east palestine and then some it's the only solution the only solution you're you're saying this is the only solution i'm saying it's the only solution because here's the situation how do you remove toxics out of water you use carbon, density, and time. That's it. That's your formula. Density mm -hmm. and time. So you slow the water down to one gallon per minute. You have the most dense material in the world. I can literally shut your water line off with this carbon. That's how dense it is. If I if I choose to put that much in. I I I'm like blown away. Like, how do you how do you how does this even so this comes from when did you start this whole have you been part of this business forever how did how did this all start like, well let's figure this out i have a chemist in germany called deepak chopra and deepak this, wait deepak chopra not the not the guy that the uh the like the, the, the guru guy <laughs> did you say deepak chopra i did not the so, guy who writes all the books and was on Oprah and that not that Deepak Chopra. Unknown no, it's not. That, it's not. No, it's not that guy. Okay, but he's a Deepak Chopra. Okay, I just want to clarify. Right. Well, I just want. I, I just want to be vague. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, my chemist, he's a, he's a genius. Um, we came out with products that kill the coronavirus for ninety days on any surface, all kinds of stuff using oxygen and water. You're lucky you didn't get whacked. No offense. I guess because um, maybe he's in Germany is the only reason you didn't get whacked. I'm, I'm certified in the EU to sell these products. So EU would be the entire, all the European, yes. just yes. only all the European the, at, nations. At hospital level. Mm. Emergency certification. Couldn't do it here. Talk to Mike Pence. Talk to uh, all, all Congress. Talk to e, uh, e, FDA, EPA. No way. Wouldn't let us touch it. So, out comes this new carbon for what reason and what time? Think about it. You're going to see more and more of this problems coming up. But the big deal is this. And we're selling these little kits. We got them at a price point that everybody can afford. We're going to come out with a refrigerator filter of the same magnitude. We're doing things to help the American people, the patriots of this country. And what we're doing right now is we are um, putting in 200 units into East Palestine. We've already put in a half a dozen of them. We were there Wednesday. You got, I think we sent you some some uh, yeah. tape, right? Yeah. Okay. That, that's yep. my girl Kendall in Kentucky. That's my influencer over there, and uh, I'm throwing a plug in for her, right? So we, uh, we that's what we do, and uh, we're raising capital. We're setting up a 501c to raise capital for 4,000 more units. It's going to cost me about 1.2 million to put 4,000 more in. Okay. So they, I, what, what's shocking to me is like if I, I would, I would imagine if this is tested, and it's it clearly it's working, then I would think instead of, um, I won't get political, but or, or say be political, I would think this is a no-brainer 
to fund this and and have the U.S. government that's supposedly for the people um, to go, hey, here's something that cleans things and here's something we can do a quick cleanup. Let's just let's just buy this and let's or no, let's just take this never, and do all that. They'll never happen. They'll never happen because um, in my mind, yeah. they dropped that train right in the middle of five of their wells, 57 feet deep. That train got dropped. That fluid went into those wells. That material went into the uh, aquifers of Anirondacks. That fluid went down rivers. It's destroying things. I don't believe that they even, you know, if they were that concerned, you would never ignite it. They poured some kind of fluid on that material to burn it. They would never ignite it, that material, without the EPA standing there. The EPA wasn't even there when they did this. That put fumes in the air, which in turn went across the country. Right. It's bizarre. I don't want to get into the whys or whatever, but I do want to say why, why, why? Let's be, we won't say, um, what do you think? What, why would they burn in your, in just opinion? It's not a fact. Why would they burn um, this horrific chemical knowing what it's capable of? Why would they do that? I have no idea. I mean, Think about it. Okay, so in a past life, I ran an injection molding company in uh, East Texas, and we had a disgruntled employee that burned the company to the ground. Mm. Lit it up, killed people inside the whole nine yards. Yeah. Oh, my God. When they came in, they put a plastic barrier around the entire building. Yeah. Capture all the water. And then they dug 10 feet of dirt immediately out of the ground and took it away. Wow. Why, why you do not, if, 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 when they lit up polyvinyl or vinyl chloride, when they lit that up, the gas that came off that was basically something that could kill you. There's mustard gas. It's the mustard gas, which they, as you right. said, supposedly banned and got rid of, but yet here they are using it, shipping it. Well, we use all well. Okay, so all the vinyl in the world is made from this. Okay, that's how you make vinyl part products. Okay, all right. Okay, so you, it's it's a good product. It's a cheap product to create right. plastic. Okay, that you need for your flooring. For every camper in the world uses this stuff, right? Sure. We use you know smoke detectors. I use it on um, feet for for uh, for uh, ladders. These are the things we do with it. Okay. It has a purpose. But let me tell you something. When you run a train with this kind of chemicals on it, they have sensors on the tracks that control those trains. And right. they're telling me that the bearings went out on the wheels. When those bearings went out and created the fire, hmm. those sensors would have shut the train down. It didn't. So I don't understand anything, okay? All I know is we got folks that are now in a, in a place where my girl went in there. And she left, she was there for five hours. She left with a sore throat and her, and her face was basically, um, her whole body was like on fire yep. and she was flush and red and that's toxic. It's and, very toxic. Uh, these people are living in that. I don't think that they're, they're going to see some tragedy down the road. And then if you're and then I, I watched one lady light her water on fire coming out of her sink. Yeah, I think I saw some video. There's there's some crazy videos okay. on, on the internet where I mean, even just the simple when the woman was on the news on the news, which I give credit because I hate the word news. And I don't, to me, right. they're all just beast of humanity. And she took a rock and she threw it in the water. Oh, and yeah. just started bubbling and it, it looked like it was an oil slick it was it was there was no hiding that there was no editing it was just wow this this is really what's going on now i have been to cleveland uh years and years and years ago and i remember seeing like all these dead fish and some i don't know what the hell was going on that time of year this had to be like 50 20 years but to see all those dead animals and yes. the dead fish and hear yeah. people going, you know, my dog is dying. And I'm, I mean, those are, um, it's, well, it's, it's, 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but so it, it's a bad deal. But what, what we what we're going to do is we're going to provide them with a product that will at least capture whatever chemicals are in the water yeah. from them drinking it. And by the way, they'll still get all the other benefits of the magnesium, the calcium, and all these other items in their system. Okay, so okay. we're we're providing them with that, and I think be honest with you that's at this point in time i don't know what else you can do at this you know and we're going to see more and more of this so what we're doing is this is what our company's doing we're setting up a 501c right now you can donate to our website and that money's okay. going directly into this first 200 units going out if you want a kit the price is 280 it's not a bad price i mean it's it's, it's tight i'm gonna order it i'm gonna order it and here's the thing you're gonna love and then you know let me know how how it works for you because it works for me and everybody that grabs our, our product loves it they just love well let me know. ask them let me ask them how do i know it's working like i get tested i check my alkaline and you're saying too the alkaline is a certain level too yes right yes. so if i get in my house which uh, well, i'll order it and i'll get it i'll set up i'll give an update and all that jazz because my wife's had cancer for oh. years and years and years i mean she was diagnosed stage four a couple of years ago, she's been living on a um, a trial. The trial now is is over. She's oh. doing well. I mean, a lot of the tumors right. that were. Uh, yeah, I mean, this started 2012. We've been dealing yeah. with this nonstop. Yeah. And I know other people that have had they get cancer and they don't know what to do. And there's there's so many other options besides just get blasted with here's your here's your chemo no it's the worst no. thing you could do okay but, listen yes listen listen get her on this uh you know roger stone his wife has cancer too and he's on it i gave you know he's got a kit he's using it bottom really? line is this. yes bottom line is this guys um when you get this unit in it will it will you'll see oxygen in the glass okay the water's lighter because it's full of oxygen we nobody in the world has figured out and this is what my 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 guy my cancer guy told me we know oxygen kills cancer we don't know how to get it into your bowels you drink it goes through your stomach into your bowels and i'm telling you something when you go to the bathroom it comes out your bowels too it's really kind of right. cool so right. get it and then it also will shrink your prostate now so that you won't be going to the bathroom okay right. um that's one of the things it, it did for myself my numbers went from 3.9 back to 1.6. Big deal. Um, I've gone back several, you know, that's years ago. I go back, get blood tests drawn. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Uh, it gives you energy. It gives you a different perspective. Oh, if you have a hard time sleeping, the magnesium that you take through this product will helps you sleep. I have people come to me saying, I can't sleep. You know, guys, you know, they're worried about thinking about business and whatnot. They say, no problem. I, I pass out now at night. I just, I go to sleep. Everything's good. Um, right. It's a tight package. And then the other thing is that, and then it's taking out all these other nasty things that are in the water. You only know, but here's what, here's the deal. Go to our website and okay. we did a, what we did was we pulled up Mesa, Arizona's water level. Yeah. Okay. So the water is at 7.48 on the pH. Then we took our water, went to an independent laboratory and it came in back at like 8.5 or something like that. Um, so it's right where you want to be. Here's the problem when you go to the water store and you get your water. At, yeah. They start out at 11.5 and then it does like this nose dive. Yeah. You got seven days to drink it. 11.5 mm. is bad for the system. 10.5. We use that when we do plating. We play gold and chrome. Right. That's the water. we. You got to be at nine, maybe nine and a half, eight and a half. Eight. That's where you want to be on your water level. Okay. And you'll right. see on our test, we've done all this. It took the arsenic out. Everything has been tested so that we're not throwing out something like, oh, I'm telling you the great things in this world, just so it sounds good. You buy it. That's not the case. We've done our homework. We've done our testing. And you can see what we're saying is true. Um, but what you're going to see on your end, uh, yeah. the water's going to taste phenomenal. Okay. okay. Remember the old school water? That yes. You used to a kid? That's what yeah. this tastes like. All right. I'll give you an idea. I got my dog, my dog, my dog, my wife owns a dog rescue. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to yeah. laugh because you started off with like my dog. And you're like, my yeah, dog, well, I got my wife. <laughs> I got like 14 dogs running around. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's right. my I think of dogs. But right. she, 
she has this dog rescue and these dogs come off the street. They're dogs nobody wants. And um, she feeds them like top-notch everything. And, you know, that's her world. It's got to be the best. It's got to have toppers on it. These dogs sure. are We put a bowl of that down, a bowl of our water down, and they go to the water first. And they drink every bit of that water before they... Now, we used to do it, and then we put the city water down next to it. Yeah. they could get less. Our dogs will drink three bowls of, of water a day, and they don't go to the bathroom any more than if they drank one bowl of water a day. So this water goes into your system. Mm. It doesn't go through your system. And here's the other thing too, guys. Um, if you drink bottled water, yeah, which is pretty bad for you, but yeah. they told you it's great. Yeah, of course. It, it gives off plastic POVs. Right. Micro. They right. go into your body and seal your fat cells. So you know how you see folks running around and they're obese? Yeah. You think it's, you think it's like fast food, right? It's right. not. It's the plastic going in there. Our product strips all that. I got gals that are in their early 40s, you know, going to the gym every day, fighting the fight, trying trying to stay in good shape. And they come back to me and say, oh, my gosh, since I started drinking your water, I am actually losing weight. So it does that. I can't, you know, these are things that we are seeing. We don't make these claims. I'm just yes. throwing up what they're saying. Okay. okay. If you clean yourself up and you put the right product in your body, everything changes. And water is the next place that everybody's going to be attacking because without it, you can't live more than three. You days. can't live without water. All you right. Got it. I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna. I'm, I promise you, I'm gonna order this. I'm gonna. When we're done with here, I'm gonna go. Oh, what's the, Where do we go to get this? Or look Century, into the website. Century with an S. H two O dot com. Century with an S. H two O dot com. We'll post it too, and we'll check oh. it. Nelson, yes. I, I appreciate it. Please stay safe. You, this kind hey. of scares me in a way. It excites me in a way, but it also spooks me in a way. Meaning, Jim, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It just matter. doesn't. It doesn't matter, does it? I mean, look at yes. life this way. Hey, they're going to do what they're going to do. That's we're going to do what we're going to do. You're right. And we're going to help when we can. You're right. And that's just life, buddy. I mean, you're absolutely right. And while we can help, let's do it. I appreciate it. Safe journeys, right. my friend. I appreciate it, Nelson. Have a good one. Right. Hey, thank you too. What you're doing in the East Palestine there. Take care. All right. Take care too. All right. All right. Bye bye. I I'm gonna give it a I'll give it a whirl. And like I said, I really I started hearing about this and people were telling me I do know about, or at least I say I do I have heard. The theories, there's so many theories now coming out for fighting even just cancer, where it's keeping your alkaline at a certain level. And I also heard, I was with someone last night, where basically if you can't patent something, government is never, ever going to uh, support it, especially if it can really help your body. If profit can't be made, what's the root of all evil? The love of money the power of money, the control of money. If money can't buy a patent, which it has over the last couple of years, there are patents for certain viruses. Uh, there are patents for certain, you know, shots. And the people that will continue to believe everything they hear from your um, mass media and your own government uh, will continue to live that world and feel safe and all that jazz but for the rest of us i think we know uh those days are over long over so we have to kind of help each other lift each other up and point in the right direction hey man i want to thank nelson um for coming on today and talking i am going to try this water out and all that jazz and um we'll jump again next week there's there's uh we're working on a lot of things we're in the middle of a transition here at the Bruniverse. Uh, I'm weighing all my options. It's getting really cool. It's exciting. We can go in many, many different directions. I can just stay here with my Patreon members, um, you, the Brutube, uh, the Bruniverse listeners. And, or I've had some really cool opportunity to sort of merge. I just want to see how much freedom is there. I believe there's a lot of freedom there with multiple options, which I like. 
and we'll get into. So I want to thank you for being part of that journey. I want to thank you for listening here today. I want to thank Mike and everyone else for being part of the Bruniverse. And we'll see you next week. Until then, enjoy your life. Find some good things to do with yourself and one another and enjoy one another and turn off. No politics, no news, no clown shows. Put it, wash it all away and really enjoy one another. All right. Find something that connects you guys. Find the 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 family thing, the the struggles within and share it with someone. Have have someone lift you up. Be vulnerable. Let let people know you need help. All right. Let's take care of one another. Love and laughter. See you next week in the Brewers. Have a good one, Mike. Take a look around and what do you see? Lock the date down tonight. We'll make it history. Hey, this is Jim Brewer, and I got my own Patreon page, and hopefully you'll check it out. Live comedy concert streamed once a month. Weekly, you host your own podcast, and you interview me. Early access to the Bruniverse podcast every single week. And have bonus footage and bonus segments. I promise you I'm not going to let you down. Go check out my official Jim Brewer Patreon page and I'll see you there.